Welcome back, it's Smash Bros. here. Today with another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. This time we are going to do the Seaside Kingdom. And as always, I'll try not to use the A or B button. I can get up here. But I don't know from where we can get here, so the storyline for the storyline we have to beat this boss on top. The problem is we need one of these blue bubble guys, so these water bubbles that allow you to travel forward and upwards in order to beat the boss and the problem is in order to travel upwards we have to use B or A and since that's not allowed we can not do the boss at least as long as there are any other options I will try not to do the boss fight so let's see what other moons we can possibly get here don't remember it exactly but I think there was a moon right here when you ground pound so this is the first moon that, that we can get And I think there is another moon as well. If we take this seed and bring it in one of the pots. Unfortunately, this is all the way on the other side, but at least I can look for more moons. I guess playing beach volleyball is only available after we beat the boss so we cannot do that too but we can grow one of the plants and we can try reaching this rocket and see where it goes. It should be possible to do this challenge. Doesn't look like it requires some special things that involve pressing A or B, so the only question is can we get both moons in this secret area without pressing A or B? Thank you. 
this looks like the area with the secret moon. We can definitely get this moon as well. We only need 10 moons, so luckily that's not as much as in the Metro Kingdom. It might be possible. I don't think that was a good idea to activate these lasers. It was definitely not a good idea to jump down there, but, but at least now we know that this way is just a long line without any gaps. So we can just go through it and collect the second moon of this challenge. There's also another one of the seats on top of this platform. The only problem is we need a slope to get back up because we cannot swim. So if there's any slope that we can reach without running out of air underwater, then it should be possible to bring this second seat too. But for the moment I don't see any slopes, so maybe I'll come back to this moon later, if I find any. But first, I think another moon that we can get is the moon where we have to bring a stack of Goombas to a Goomba lady. We can use the high jump that we can do by shaking our controller instead, so we don't have to do the normal jump. It's a little bit harder because I'm not very used to this, uh, but it's definitely a possibility. I don't know how many we have to bring, so I'll just bring as many as possible. Well, I think four should be enough. And if we bring them here, then another moon will spawn. And then we can collect the first of the four moons that we need to collect in order to make the boss active. But we can't beat the boss himself as I said before. 
and I also don't know how many of these moons we can get. And I don't know if Captain Toad is already up there on this platform, but I think there's not a not even a way for me to get up there. So it doesn't really matter. What I can do is try to somehow get up there from these boxes right here. The problem is the camera position is a little bit unfortunate for this attempt, but maybe I'm able to do it. Th and another problem is when I throw Cappy while standing on top of one, it seems like Cappy destroys the box, so that's definitely not a possibility. We can try to jump from up here, but I don't think that's enough. No, it's not, so I don't know if we can get to Captain Toad. And the problem that you see now is, as soon as we activate one of these switches, we have to press A in order to proceed in this text. So we could save this A press by not doing that. So definitely it was not a good idea to press the switch, but I didn't know that before, so there could one press could be saved by not hitting that switch. I don't know if there was a moon or if there are just coins right here. It are these little Goombas. The problem is every time I fall into the water I have to swim all the way back and find a slope where I can go outside the water without swimming or without jumping out of the water. So something like this and I would also have to find something like this for the second seat. There might have been a moon right there, for example. I think that was a moon. No, so they are just coins. There might actually be a moon later in the game, but for now there's nothing that we can get here. But there's the th third seat, so it's a long way back to the 
last position, but we can indeed bring the seat all the way across the map. And when we bring it back here, we can grow another plant. I also see that there's this node that we can activate. This should also spawn another moon. I don't know why that counted, but okay. So then, it's a straight line, not too hard. And the moon spawns there, that's perfect. We can easily collect it. So since I'm still waiting for two plants to grow, there are only two more that I need to find. If there's a way for me to get on top of this tower, that would also be great. Because there's another one of the storyline related moons. But I think I have to bring a cheap jeep in there. And when I want to swim back up, I would also have to press A or B. So the next thing that I would try to do is getting another moon right on top of there. It seems like it could be possible to get this moon. The only problem is, I think the switch for this is underwater, so if I want to get this moon, I would have to bring one of the blue guys up here. I have one idea how I could possibly do that, but if that is not possible, then I don't know. If I capture one of these guys from right here, then I can maybe fly only to the side and not upwards maybe with this guy at least I can get him up here let's see if we can go even further problem is also that I cannot use the or refill the water tank because now it's trapped in here but maybe if it doesn't go back down there well it does so that's not the best option I can also try flying directly on top of the highest platform. Or I could also try to do... Well, I was trying to do something like if I go on top of this guy, maybe when he jumps he will push me up. But I think that's not possible. But since I saw the crazy cap 
going around here I know that there's a moon underneath this guy and even if it's in the water I can still get it because the only problem is getting back up so once I got a moon underwater I can just die and respawn it will work also there's the things down there but it's an NPC and we have to talk to it so it's not an option to use the things So just like that we can collect this moon. The only thing that I shouldn't do is activate that checkpoint because then I would respawn underwater and this would be basically a trap. So for this cheap cheap as I explained before the problem is swimming downwards is Y which is no problem but swimming to the surface is B. I think it should definitely be possible to beat this kingdom without jumping because now I only need one more moon. Maybe there's one in this pipe. And well that's exactly the right room that I went in because there's one of the easiest moons I would say in this kingdom. And that's it, I only have to wait until the two plants grow and they will give me two more moons. So we definitely can collect 10, but in the time that I have to wait, let's try to find even more moons. So. I think I found a little trick in order to get that seed. Because if I go outside of the cheap chip now, I can collect the seed that I threw on this ledge right here. So this is definitely one possible way to get a third seed, which means we can collect 11 moons at least. There could also be a moon right here, I don't know. Well, there is one, so we don't even have to wait for the last plant to grow. And just like with the other moon that was in the water, we only have to go down to get it. And from there we can just die and respawn up on top. So we can get at least 12 moons in this kingdom without jumping. Next time we are doing the snow kingdom. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed the video.